Hi all, welcome to our channel Tech LT Word. So today we are going to discuss introduction to voice communication in depth from mobile point, mobile phone perspective, right? So what happened inside the phone? So uh, like if you see the phone, like how how this uh, uh, how this antenna can send the signal. Uh, in electromagnetic format so before going forward to electromagnetic format so this baseband unit pass the data in binary formats and then after this binary this r it passed to the rs then rs will pass to the antenna so antenna will convert those thing in, into electromagnetic waves and it uh, uh, and finally it will receive by antenna of phone and it will convert those signal into wise data right so I will we will show you like how to what is the in depth on those things right so if you go here so what happened inside the micro what happened inside the phone's microphone right so basically if means human human uh, frequency of uh, human voice so that will start from 20 hertz to 30 hertz 30 um, 30 thousand hertz right so this is wise wise data basically so how this wise data converted into electromagnetic signal we'll discuss all those things so if you see the like uh, uh, in inside the phone what is there so here microphone is there so microphone basically capture the sound right so it will capture the sound uh, by microphone then after capturing those sound like uh, i will discuss the microphone uh, operation also so then after that we will convert those uh, data in log to digital format right so basically microphone will uh, capture the sound and convert data your voice as per your voice uh, variation it will generate the electrical signal right so that electrical signal is in the format of analog then in log to digital converter convert those in log sound waves into the digital data right so then next unit is digital signal processing that will process the data like it will manipulate and enhance the digital audio data through algorithm for various effect like so after digital signal processing it will miss next procedure is encoding and compression so here we are com uh, com converting audio data into compact digital format means one and zero format right so next is the transmission or storage so after that we will store those thing and then i mean so as per our uh, as per as per our electromagnetic resource available we can send those data right and then um, the what happened at receiver side so the receiver will uh, take those data and first it will do the digital to in log conversion then uh, amplify and playback so this is the complete procedure inside the phone okay so we'll discuss one by one so what happened in sound capturing how sound capture so basically so if uh, you might be remember you might know like this thing energy ne neither can be created energy energy can be convert from one form to another form right so energy of form one this is form one and this is energy of form two right so we can convert energy from both way right so <clears throat> same thing ha happen with our 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 phone our uh, wise uh, communication also right so basically we have wise data right so basically we are talking right so we are talking something and in phone so basically what happened so after talking like uh, our vocal card start vibrating right so if I, i'm telling hey hello how are you so according to my wise my vocal card also uh, vibrate so due to that vibration what happened in air some 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 wave generated you know like some sound wave generated right so inside our phone we have transducer so that transducer trans what is the transducer basically transducer is a device that can convert energy from one form to another form so that is mechanical wave of energy wave, mechanical wave energy means that is basically sound wave energy we pass to this transducer so this transducer is called microphone and that microphone will convert those things into electrical energy so how those conversion happen right so for conversion basically 
basically this is diaphragm if if you just open any microphone um, by your curiosity might be you can go and open any any microphone so if you open any microphone or any uh, so if if you see the microphone so inside the microphone one diaphragm is there so diaphragm mostly if you see the black color diaphragm is there so the this is diaphragm basically this is diaphragm so as as we as this voice signal imparted here so it will start vibrating right so due to this vibration the magnet is connected here right so this magnet is here here some helical coil is there right so that magnet fitted inside that coil so due to this vibration magnet will be start uh, means sometime it will go upside this side sometime this side means uh, coming inside and going outside as per our vibration right as per this vibrate so so this this portion will vibrate like this 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 so this magnet will be go here and here means up, up inside and outside due to this movement due to this movement because that is connected with helical means this helical wire this portion here we will get some voltage right so current we will get right so um, because change rate of change of flux can generate the current right so here some current will be generated right so that current can be like this means here we are very uh, made in very symmetric but that is not symmetric always so that can be like this like this anything like this this is the first step right sound capturing step so what is second step second step is take the sample in log to digital converter so first first um, first step is capturing the sound so sound will capture like this something like this so here i am just uh, just this thing suppose this is your sound right so next step is to do the in log to digital conversion right so this is the in log to digital conversion here we are doing sampling so i am not going in very much depth in sampling theorem and all so but as per nyquist criteria we are taking sampling rate fs is equal to two time fm right mac greater than or equal to two time fm right so we'll take the sample means uh, in in if if we are taking vice sample so vice is generally 30 kilohertz means in our 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 vocal card cannot be vibrate more than 30 kilohertz so we can assume like 30 kilohertz is the highest frequency so sampling rate will be fs is equal must be greater than or equal to 60 kilohertz right 60 and sometimes people are uh, following like 40 kilohertz so 60 kilohertz is the maximum maximum sampling frequency so sampling frequency what is sampling frequency basically we are taking this what is sample basically but so in computer in computer in log data we cannot store because between this to this there are multiple point like i can say infinite point right so but we cannot store all those point so in computer we are storing in storing the sample of all the uh, all the data means our voice data so this is this is our voice voice signal so we are taking sample in on certain interval right so those certain interval is called sampling so sampling rate means basically how many sample you are taking in one second right so this is uh, this is means how many sample you can you are taking in one second so suppose this is one second so if if you can this, this is one second so how many sample you have taken one two three four five six seven so means that is just for example that is not always true so in because here sampling we are taking 30 into i mean 60 60 kilohertz so 60 kilohertz means 60 into 10 to power 3 sample per second we are taking right so sample per second so after after what happened after sampling so if we take the sample like this sample this sample this sample this sample so we have to take the enough sample so that we can a receiver side we can just make this sample and we'll get a uh, exact same signal i mean something look like same signal so might be you remember in in your uh, in your childhood might be uh, there are in newspaper we have something we need to make one to hundred right so one one point two hundred point right it start from one to just we are making those point just 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 uh, uh, just just uh, we can say just just making those point and we'll get some some uh, 
some uh, like sometimes cat sometimes dog and all right so that is kind of game for uh, for children right so we can play means in it might be some people some uh, e- e- kids also doing those things so same thing happen here so just we are making those sample so ma- after making those sample after just just uh, just joining those sample means just joining those sample like this like this so we can construct the signal right so we have to take enough sample right so uh, enough sample so that we can easily easily recreate the actual signal right so so uh, so that's why sampling rate must be greater than or equal to two time fm so after sampling we have to uh, do the quantization so quantization means just making the label like this is label something label we have to uh, give so like in in binary in in wise communication generally we are following 8 bit or 16 bit right so 8 bit can have how many level 2 to the power 8 level 16 bit can have 2 to the power 16 level right so 2 to the power 16 level so uh, generally 8 bit conversion is there so each each sample we have to we have to uh, we have to convert into 8 bit uh, fashion right so here here just in this example we have converted into 3 bit first fashion means 3 bit means 2 to the power 3 level is there right 2 to the power 3 level means 8 level 2 into 2 into 2 so 8 level is there right so means we cannot go beyond eight level right so that is eight level so that each level is mapped with some uh, means uh, uh, that each level having some height right so height in decimal so that decimal point you can convert into binary so after conversion so each sample if if, if we are following eight bit uh, eight bit conversion so each sample will be converted into eight bit so if if your sampling rate is 60 sample per second 60 into 10 to power 3 sample per second so how many bit you can generate in one second 60 into 10 to power 3 because each sample is uh, each just just i need to just wipe out wait so it 60 60 60 into 10 to power 3 this is the sampling period right so and each sample is converted into 8 bit so your your bit rate will be 480 kilohertz um, for 480 kilobit per 480 kilobit per second or 480 into 10 to power 3 bit per second right if you are taking if you are each sample you are converting in by 8 bit right so this is the analog to digital conversion so after this you will get the digital binary data right so digital signal processing it will refine the data do some uh, CRS, means error error uh, error uh, production mechanism and all there are a lot of things involved in digital signal processing means it will refine the data like it will involve the manipulate the digital signal such as audio or video using mathematical algorithm perform task like filtering enhancement compression and transformation of signal so filtering means sometimes sometime we want to, we we want to remove remove some noise right so might be we can remove the noise or there are means ju- just refining the signal right so that for that dsp is there so maybe we will in future we will uh, start some uh, dsp series so there we'll discuss those those stuff but as of now i'm just concluding this thing so this is wise wise in log signal came here so adc will convert into digital digital format so here digital system so here we are just refining all those thing and just send send uh, send uh, those signal over it air in, means just just pass the signal over air interface then receiver side like it will it will convert those binary signal into I means so by by digital to in log conversion we are we are uh, uh, we are passing the signal to the speaker then speaker speaker will generate the signal right so this is this is your input like here here we are getting in log signal that is here then after digital system we are getting here this this uh, this data and after passing to the receiver receiver will receiver or means speaker basically speaker i'm not giving complete wireless so here just example of uh, like uh, your your microphone to the speaker only right so this this thing will be there like uh, um, i mean so here after after taking this data here uh, res- speaker will generate signal like this right so there are more process for smoothing of signal right so that i am not discussing here we'll discuss those thing in dsp dsp dsp, DSP series so uh, we'll try to make a series in very very informative and in very layman so that people can understand might be you will see lot of youtube channel there are many many dsp Uh, dsp means you can you can find but they are very huge mathematical and all those stuff but 
I will we will try to explain those thing in very short right in in layman so that you can understood those thing bit later. So here this this signal you are getting and this supply to the your I means uh, your micro your your uh, speaker then a speaker will do the reverse operation it will convert electrical signal into the wise signal right so if you see the microphone and microphone and speaker the device wise they are consisting same thing like diaphragm and everything is same okay so next means here encoding and compression this block like here we are encoding and compression by digital signal processing theory uh, uh, digital signal processing technique we are doing the encoding compression right so that uh, that is done by the dsp unit right so so uh, like here uh, then after transmission or storage happen right so after encoding and all we just store those data and then we can transmit those data so for transmission like in wireless communication we are we are using transmission by electromagnetic signal right so that is the medium for transmission so might be if if you are using fiber cable so there you are you are using like fiber optics for transmitting those data so those thing uh, i mean so those thing you can you can transmit by any media right so basically digital to analog converter this block will convert their binary data into digital format and uh, uh, digital digital i'm uh, sorry uh, 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 analog to digital converter it will convert analog data into digital and digital to analog converter so that is at receiver side so it will convert binary data into digital format so output will be like this because this is initial input right once once we start speaking right so this is initial input right so that initial output we want right so output side we we this is the desired signal so desired signal we will get after dac digital twin lock conversion okay so next is amplification amplification and playback so after digital twin lock converge conversion this data we can amplify this thing like like in the speaker what happened so in the speaker we are we are uh, um, just doing hello hello in 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 microphone and that is very sound means that sound increase by speaker so the block for in who is responsible for increasing the voice that is called amplification so simply we amplify the signal amplify means amplitude we are uh, amplifying so here here suppose amplitude is a right so just for a by amplification suppose two times we have increased so the signal will look like this because we we increase the amplitude so basically uh, increase the increase the amplitude means simply we are increase the energy so energy energy of those signal so because energy means energy or power you can say power of signal is directly proportional to amplitude square right so i mean so as per like sometime you like some rating 800 watt uh, 80 watt uh, 100 watt speaker 800 watt speaker so as per their power we can increase as per as per requirement we can increase the amplify the signal but their main attribute we cannot change we, we are not changing the main attribute means their their frequency and all okay so after amplification we can play back so thank you thank you all and uh, please like subscribe and our channel and for this info kind of informative uh, informative video so uh, we are planning to make some dsp so that you can dsp video for uh, in layman so that because in dsp there are a lot of video available on in the on the youtube but our target audience is like who is very new like very new and uh, might be some people are uh, forget about this academics thing so we'll try to make the video on dsp thank you thank you very much